the whisperer in the well. The village elder, his voice raspy with age, warned Rohan, stay away from the old well, child. Shadows linger there and whispers slither out under the full moon. But Rohan, fueled by youthful bravado and an insatiable curiosity, scoffed, the well, shrouded in moss and legend, pulsed with an allure he couldn't resist. Rohan crept towards the well as the moon bled silver onto the cracked earth. The silence was thick, broken only by the rustle of dry leaves under his feet. He peered into the inky depths, a shiver slithering down his spine. A faint glint caught his eye, something submerged far below. He lowered a stone tied to a rope, its descent punctuated by sickening thuds. Suddenly, the rope went taut. Panic surged through him as he pulled, feeling an unnatural weight resisting. With a final heave, a skeletal hand emerged, the flesh blackened and leathery. Attached to it was a tarnished silver locket, a chilling whisper emanating from within. Driven by morbid fascination, Rohan pulled the locket open. He saw a faded inscription in the moonlight, Free me and share my fate. The whisper intensified, slithering into his mind, weaving tales of forgotten promises and unspeakable vengeance. Terror clawed at him, urging him to flee. But the whisper held him captive, promising power in exchange for obedience. Blinded by fear and ambition, Rohan hung the locket around his neck. The world around him warped, darkness replacing moonlight. Shadows stretched, morphing into grotesque figures with glowing eyes. They spoke in the same chilling whisper, their voices merging into one. Rohan screamed, but no sound escaped his constricted throat. He was trapped, his fate entwined with the dark spirit in the well. As the shadows closed in, the chilling whisper echoed in his mind, a constant reminder of his foolish bargain, you are free, child. Free to share my eternal darkness. And in the silent horror of the well, under the watchful gaze of the moon, Rohan's screams dissolved into the night, replaced by the ever-present, chilling whisper, a testament to the price of curiosity and the seductive lure of forbidden knowledge. The whispering woods and the lost compass. Maya fidgeted with the worn leather strap of her backpack, anticipation buzzing beneath her skin. Today was the day. Today, she'd finally venture into the whispering woods, a forbidden expanse bordering her sleepy village. Local legends painted the woods as a treacherous landscape, shrouded in perpetual twilight and inhabited by unseen creatures. Yet, a tattered map tucked within her grandmother's attic hinted at a hidden waterfall, rumored to possess healing powers. With her ailing grandfather growing weaker by the day, Maya felt a desperate hope bloom within her. Ignoring the apprehensive whispers of villagers, Maya slipped into the woods at dawn. Sunlight struggled to pierce the dense canopy, casting long, airy shadows. The air hummed with an unsettling silence, broken only by the occasional rustle of unseen leaves. Fear gnawed at Maya, but the image of her grandfather fueled her resolve. As she delved deeper, the path dwindled, replaced by a maze of tangled undergrowth. Thorns snagged at her clothes, and the oppressive silence gave way to the airy whispers the woods were named for. They emanated from everywhere and nowhere, sending shivers down her spine. Suddenly, a flash of movement caught her eye. A deer, its fur the color of twilight, emerged from the shadows, its large, gentle eyes meeting hers. It didn't flee but, instead, seemed to beckon her forward. A surge of newfound courage filled Maya. This deer, she felt, was a guide. Following the deer, she found a hidden trail, barely visible amongst the undergrowth. It led her deeper into the woods, the whispers growing louder, now seeming more like encouragement than warning. After hours, the trail opened into a clearing bathed in soft, 
ethereal light. In the center stood the waterfall, cascading down a moss-covered cliff, its spray shimmering like diamonds. As Maya approached, the whispers coalesced into a clear voice, thanking her for her courage and guiding her to the healing waters. She filled her canteen and hurried back, arriving at the village as darkness fell. The next morning, she presented the water to her grandfather. He drank, and though the change was subtle, a spark of life returned to his eyes. News of Maya's adventure spread like wildfire. The whispering woods, once feared, became a symbol of courage and hope. Maya, who had dared to venture into the unknown, became a legend, a testament to the power of courage and the unexpected magic that resides even in the most forbidden places.